It's time to get started again for our first talk today. We have Pong speaking on Piatic Local Systems and their SEN operators. Thank you for coming to my talk. So today I will talk about uh, some Piatic Local System over Piatic varieties. <coughs> so let X be a smooth variety. We find the over QP. And we would like to study periodic local systems over it. So if we put G to be its identity fundamental group, I omit uh, this point here. And the object we want to study is just uh, the finite dimensional representation, continuous representation of the fundamental group G with the coefficient in QP. So they are called the category of periodic local systems. In fact, an object here uh, just uh, it's just a, a finite dimensional QP sub QP space handled with an action of G, and uh, such that uh, the associated group homomorphism from G to the group of automorphism group of S is continuous. So there are many areas in Piaget house theory. For example, the arithmetic periodic Simpson correspondence and the Fagama modules study those periodic local systems. And today, uh, and the common philosophy of them is to use simpler linear objects or linear invariants to record the action of G. So today I will, I would like to, uh, to look at this question from the perspective of sense theory. Sense theory is a cornerstone of periodic Galois representation. So here, here is the situation we would like to consider. So this is a very special case. So that X just to be the point of a QP. And uh, so in this case, its fundamental group is just uh, the absolute Galois group. So here, QP bar is an algebraic closure of QP. So the sense, uh, sense approach to study the representation of such a complicated group is to enlarge the coefficient QP. Instead, he consider continuous representations of this absolute gamma group G with a coefficient in CP. So here CP is the completed algebraic closure of Q. So um, as long as you have a QP representation of this gamma group G, let's say S, then you could extend the scalars to obtain a CP representation. Notice that here, um, the Galois group G acts both on S and on CP. So naively, it looks like uh, this makes the representation become more complicated. But in fact, it, it is because we introduce uh, the scalars with G action so that uh, this W contain much more well-behaved elements under this G action. So more precisely, we can consider the psychotomic extension of QP contained in the chosen algebraic closure R. And this psychotomic extension is just by adding all P power roots of unity. And I label these Galois groups of corresponding extension. So in particular, this Galois group is much simpler. It contains an open subgroup, subgroup isomorphic to ZP. So as I said, uh, by extending scalars, it will give us more well-behaved elements in W. So to be precise, it says that, uh, for example, we, can, we could first consider the H, H invariance in W 
This is, in fact, uh, a finite dimensional representation of gamma with coefficients in the completed cyclotomic extension. They have the same rank with each other. And uh, moreover, more technically, since is that we could uh, descend further, we could consider the, those elements whose gamma orbits generates a finite dimensional QP subspace. And we could consider those elements, then we could remove this completion. And uh, this turns out to be, again, a finite dimensional continuous representation of gamma with coefficients in this cyclotomic extension and has the same rank as W. So what we obtained is that the base change functor here will give you back W. So namely, this is an equivalence of category. So it turned, turns out that uh, this category is actually uh, much easier to study than this category. Okay, so, so now we could uh, look at uh, this much simpler gamma group gamma because this the algebra of gamma is canonically isomorphic to QP. It's just a one dimensional QP space and it acts infinitesimally on V. So if we consider the unit, uh, the identity of QP, then it will give us a special linear operator on V. And uh, recall that every representation here descends to such a V. So we obtain for any W here a uh, linear operator by So the morphism of W, this is known as the same operator. So we, we know that uh, this process works for any W here. So when W comes from a QP representation, from let, let's say if W is a base change of such an S, then how the same operator how the same operator will capture the information of G action on a QP representation. Notice that these are uh, totally two different uh, direction of descent process. So on the one hand, we keep the same complicated uh, Galois group on the, other side, on the other side, we have much simpler Galois group. So a priori, it is too mysterious for us to say whether or why, why the linear operator will control uh, behavior here. So, but the same give us a positive, uh, an answer to that question. He proves that uh, the same operator will essentially capture the action of the inertial subgroup. So here is his theorem. So let's I B B be the, be the inertial subgroup of the absolute Gawa group. Then we could consider the Lie algebra of rho S. Rho S is the structural continuous group homomorphism. Rho S, we could consider the image of this inertial subgroup. Then this is a QP subspace of the endomorphism of S. The conclusion is that this is the <coughs> smallest QP subspace such that recall that the same operator of your representation S is a priori contained in the CP and the morphism of W. The claims, the conclusion says that first, uh, this operator will contain the base, contains in the base change of this the algebra of inertial sub. -group. 
And the secondly, this Lyad row of inertial subgroup is the smallest uh, QP subspace whose space change will contain this same operator. So, so let me give you a simple color to, to explain better. So you notice that uh, once this linear operator is zero, then the smallest QB subspace to contain zero is zero. So this cell operator is zero if and only if the inertial subgroup, the action of inertial subgroup factor through a finite caution. So somehow it gives us the philosophy that the same operator essentially capture the action of inertial subgroups. Okay. So now we wonder that if we could generalize this whole picture to periodic varieties. In my thesis, I gave a positive answer to that. For simplicity, let me consider the following situation. So let's uh, x to be a smooth affine variety over QP. So here I assume that it admits a good reduction. So here A is a normal domain, which admits an Adana remap from a polynomial algebra to itself. Then uh, the same as before, we could consider the universal pro-finite pro data cover of X. So this has a gamma group G and uh, we have their integral models. And uh, we consider the integral closure in the, max, uh, in the universal cover. So this is the integral closure. Okay, these are the notations we have. And the statement is that, uh, so firstly, we need to construct uh, set operators for periodic local systems over periodic varieties. So firstly, we give uh, construction for any finite dimensional continuous representation of this arithmetic fundamental group of this smooth affine variety. And uh, with uh, the big coefficient, just as before, we consider the big coefficient the CP relative to QP, and here we consider the big coefficient the A bar hat invert B compared to QP. So for every con semilinear continuous representation here, there exists a unique module of same operators contained in the endomorphism of W, which is a least sub algebra. And uh, it is unique in the sense that it is such that uh, it is compatible with the local field case defined by San Bruno. With this canonical same operator, we could generalize its relation with inertial subgroup by localizing to local field case. So when this W comes from uh, true periodic local systems, local system, namely uh, then we consider the sum over all the generic for all the generic points of the special fiber of A bar. And uh, the Lie algebra of the corresponding inertial subgroup. And we look at their image in the endomorphism of S. Then this is again the smallest one, the smallest QB subspace, such that the same module of same operator is contained in its phase change to big coefficients contained here. So, so that's my generalization of that. And this picture, as this is a canonical um, construction of same operator, 
it is, does not depend on the choice of this data ring map, and we could globalize it over a smooth, rigid analytical varieties of QP. And uh, the question I would like to think about in the future is that uh, how could we consider the case of local systems over the geometric case, namely X is defined only over CP. And I, that's the question I would like to consider. I will stop here. Thank you very much. Any questions? Maybe I would like to ask how does your result compare to one of theory? Yeah, at the same time, Hamago also constructs uh, the geometric sign operators. So, so on the geometric sign operators, our definitions coincide with each other. And uh, here, uh, and we followed from different formation. My, the fundamental tool I used here is the periodic arithmetic Simpson correspondence. And uh, Kamago used the, the comments in the back of J's uh, axiomatic sign theory. And here, I also include the arithmetic sign operator. And this, the, the inclusion of arithmetic sign operator is the key to, 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 to relate the sign operator with the action of inertial subgroups. Yeah. How big is this uh, Lie algebra? So, so this is a finite dimensional thing. So at least it is finite dimensional. And uh, I, yeah, I mean, in the future, I would like to think how could could this sum of local objects relate to the global object? Like if X is proper over CP or QP, could we relate to something directly to the Lie algebra of the fundamental group or something? But I would like to understand. Yeah. Other question? So in the case for that, uh... L is zero. Uh -huh. Yeah, L is zero if and only if the you see the the, the inertial subgroup at each uh, generic point is finite. This is the caloric. How should I think? Of the, how should I think about that? And I'm having trouble sort of understanding what that means geometrically. Yeah, I mean this is some something. Gives me a feeling about uh, Nagata purity, seriously Nagata purity. But uh, if 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 the uh, if the inertial subgroup is zero over every generic point, it looks like uh, we could apply directly seriously Nagata purity. But here it only says that the the image of that is finite, so the Lie algebra is zero, but it, it's not itself is zero. So it looks like a purity phenomenon, but uh, yeah. Yeah, it's still may, remaining mysterious for me. Yeah. Yeah. Is it possible to define the same operator uh, axis smooth on the generic fiber? Yes, as I said, uh, we could uh, we could globalize it to to reach the smooth analytic varieties, smooth region analytic varieties. I mean, locally, locally, it will give. Uh, locally, it's always the form like this because this is the unique one compatible with local field case, and you could globalize well, very well. Okay, so you don't need the uh, good reduction assumption. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, I mean, locally, we uh, if we want a local result, we always need to uh, assume that the algebra admits a semi-stable reduction or local log smooth. Chart, but uh, but uh, to globalize it, you could globalize it uh, for for rigid analytic varieties. All right. Let's thank the speaker again.